All right, so this video that you're watching is part of a series of videos, and what I'm doing is I'm walking you through the steps of starting in Photoshop and moving and building this site in Dreamweaver in HTML and CSS. Right now, we have done the background, we've done this grid paper, the header, the nav bar. We've started this side right here, and what I'm going to do in this video is finish placing in um, these three little posts over here. Then in the next video, we'll do the right column, the main content of this site. All right, so here goes. What I did in the previous video, I ended uh, with this post right here. And let's go take a look at the code and make sense of the code. And this video will really give you a good sense of classes as well, what a class is with CSS. So if I take a look at this code right in here, this is what I have. Um, I have sidebar posts. It's all right in here. This is this is actually where it is right here. Starts with sidebar post, okay, which is the shape. Then it goes to put post headline, which is what's new. Then it goes to the button headline sidebar post. Then we have the post text. Okay. Now what I could do if I wanted to is I could just copy this and paste it. Let's see what happens if I do this. So if I come on in and I say edit, copy this code, then I come in and I hit return and I paste the code. I can refresh. All right, and that actually worked nicely. I have seen it happen uh, when doing pasting the code like that. I have seen uh, things break down and not work out so well. Um, and what I want to do right in here to put, put a little bit more space in is I could uh, I could come in and just insert a line break. So I can come on in, insert character, line break, refresh. All right, there we go. There we have it. Now let's take a look at how would you go about doing this again. If we wanted to do it one more time, I showed you one way to do it, just going in and copying the code, right? That I could come in and take a look at what it says in Photoshop. It goes from what's new to what's happening, the practice of right speech. That's really easy to do, right? Just coming on in right in here, what's happening, coming on down. Now we might even find that some of our tags don't work, uh-oh, as well um, when we when we start doing different things. So I might need to change the practice of right speech. All right, so as I look at this, I can tell actually that I'm going to need to go in and change the CSS of this. Um, and I can always find it. There's a couple ways to find things. We can come on in. I, I remember what it's called, right? It was um, headline sidebar post. Okay, it's right in here. And now when I come onto my properties panel, see how it says headline sidebar headline sidebar post. There it is. I go to the CSS panel. Here it is. Headline sidebar post. I have it centered. Line height is thirty. All right, so I'm going to lower this margin from the top. Text align center width. Let me up. The width 150. All right, there we have it. And I think it's really the line height that I want to change. Okay, so there we have it. I think that actually works much better here. Um, all right, so I'll leave I'll leave it like that. Actually, maybe let's put it in at 15. Let's see what that looks like. Up oh, too much, so I'll change the height to 20. All right, perfect. Now, what about if I wanted to go about, now I might want to look at this too, um, the sidebar post, and I might want to up the height just a little bit. Even, what about if I put the height in at auto? And we'll see what happens. When something's set at auto, it adjusts to whatever size the content is that you're placing in. All right, so let's actually take a look at how you else you could go about inserting this with the class. All right, I want to make sure that you know, I'm at the end of this sidebar post. Here I am, right here. I'm going to insert a break. So I'll come on up, insert character line break. Now I could have just written the code right in there. Now I want to insert my classes. 
So here goes. I see my cursor is right after, right here in the code. So I'm going to open up my insert window and I am going to insert a div and I'm going to, it's going to be a class. So I'm going to say it's going to be sidebar post. Okay, there is sidebar post. Then after sidebar post comes, I'll get rid of this little, um, the, the, the writing, the writing's always there. Now I want to make sure my cursor's where it needs to be. I'm right after the opening tag of side lot, sidebar post. I'll come on in one more time. I can get here two different ways, window insert, and also now insert div right here too, same thing. It's going to be class, it's gonna be at insertion point. What comes next? It would be, what is the next one? Post headlines. Okay, see all this is already written. Actually, and you know what? This third one doesn't even have a post headline. So I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't, I don't actually, I actually don't want that. Um, so what I'm going to insert next is uh, the button. So insert div, and I'm going to get the button. Okay, great. Now if you don't have insert div, just go right to your insert window, and you'll find insert div in common. You also will find it in layout. Um, all right, so next thing I'm going to do, just to finish this up, insert div. I'm going to go into the class. I don't want it to be wrap around selection. So let me hit cancel here. See, sometimes whenever you have something selected, that's what happens. All right, so let me content for button. Let's actually type something in here. All right, I want my, I want my cursor to be after the button. I come on in, I come to insert div. And this time I'm going to put headline sidebar post. And see, I always forget that's the problem. Let's see. Did I get that right? Actually, I think it was um, let me let me look at my code here. Oh, let's just insert it and say, up. Oh, that's right. That's great. Okay. This one I believe is. Let's just keep it like that. All right, now I want to come in over here. I can hit return. And the last thing I want to insert is this font right here. And this is post to text. Now, again, I need to make sure that my cursor is after right here. Come on in, insert div. All right, so I don't want wrap around selection. I want it to be, um, so, and the problem is if you go insert div and I could say after tag, um, all I see are my IDs. These are all the IDs. And again, an ID in CSS is used when there's only one of those elements on the page, whereas a class, there are um, lots of those elements. So what you need to do when you're inserting multiple classes uh, in the CSS, you just need to make sure that your cursor is where it needs to be, that, you're, that you are... Um, that you're, you insert your, you put your cursor where it needs to be. Okay. All right. So I'm going to hit return. My cursor is where it needs to be. Refresh. And now I can come on in, insert div, add insertion point, just what I want. And I want post text. I hit okay. All right. And there we have it. That was the easy way um, to do all of that. Uh, just real quick. How did I build the post text? Let me tell you what that looked like. It's a box, right and left auto, and that was it. All right, thanks so much. So what we have done right now, let's just take a look at it. Let me close this, close this, take a look, look, look. All right, so what we have successfully done, we have successfully built our, um, our left-hand column. In the next set of videos, I will take a look at building the right-hand column. Now I could come in here and say, oh, I need to push this down a little bit. That would be easy enough to do. If I go back into, hit live one more time, come into split, I would just insert a break. 
and I could come on in, select the whole thing, go right after sidebar post, insert character, line break, refresh, Now it's moved down a little bit, but I did something. Um, I wanted it to be down from the top. Let's say. Of course, you want to do something. Oh, there we go. It works here. Perfect. All right, there we go. We'll end there. Uh, this got pushed down in here, and something weird's happening um, over in here. Uh, probably what I can do when I go on in is uh, work with how the repeat starting to re-repeat, re and this has shot out. So I'll take a look at that in the next video. Thanks so much.